Hey guys, how are you? Uh, coming with a video. It's been a minute, been a while. Um, but here we are. And I'm going to feed the chickens some uh, ends and things. I cut off the zucchinis and the squash. They love them. And so they're eating really, really good. I'll have to add a picture in here of how much, how many zucchini and squash we are getting. It's kind of ridiculous. My whole counter has zucchini and squash everywhere. Hello! Oh, really? So you guys can see that I kind of give them a lot. In. But they love it. And I actually pulled a plant. I need to pull it out of there. A squash plant. But here is like the ends. They just love them. And I had one zucchini kind of start to get bad. So we'll just throw it in here. And Mr. Rooster tried to get me. Sometimes I wish we did not have you, sir. You need to stop. Okay? I'm trying to feed you. Take care of your little butt. Maybe if I swing the gate in, I can get his hidden with zucchini. <laughs> Quit it, mister. <laughs> See, they just love it. They absolutely love it. And then I give them some of my lettuce that goes bad. You know, kind of at the bottom. They kind of get a little bit of brown that I really don't want to feed my kids or myself. So... Chickens will eat it, won't ya? <coughs> yeah. All right, let's get some more. And I think, I feel like that, don't wanna eat that. Um, we're down to three gold hens and the rooster. <coughs> the rooster and his lady friend. Ooh, those are some big pieces, aren't there? Dang gate keeps uh, swinging on me. I really don't want that rooster to get out. Um, it tries to uh, tries to spur us, or whatever you want to call it. it. tries to get us every time. So, definitely don't want I think the wind. Yeah! The wind's just taking that. Keeps going. But see, they just love it. And then I give them some tomatoes. That... Oh, goodness. Look at that chicken. It is just not having, not having a good time with the feathers but as you can see this chicken over here has got a tomato <coughs> oh yeah Maddie get him get him Maddie <laughs> but yeah any like vegetables or anything that I can seem kind of silly and are kind of growing and getting weird i don't know they just don't look right i'll throw it in here for them and it'll be a little treat huh you guys like it yeah you might have got the zoomies um uh, yeah i just fed the chickens a little treat um i'll give you guys a little bit of an update on the garden um i don't know if you care or not but uh Doing pretty, pretty good. Here's my tomato plants. I had to prune the heck out of this one. Um, and this one's starting to fall over. So Michael will have to put uh, something in there to brace it. We put, you can see, this post in there. 
to support that one. Here's my watermelon. It looks so good. Here's our biggest one. I don't know if you can see it. So cute. And then I think there's another one there. And then look at these guys. They're so little. But my goodness, that thing is gonna, we're gonna have a lot of watermelon. Those are my peppers. They're just really slow. I don't know, it's whatever. Uh, and then I did some heavy, heavy pruning on these. These are my zucchinis. Look, I even need to pull some of these. I'm giving them like another day or so. There's another good one right there. But yeah, bees are in there doing their thing. Um, something is getting my broccoli leaves. If you guys have any recommendations, I have marigolds in here. Um, I have some of that dust stuff that you put on the in the dirt. I don't know. It's probably already way too far gone. Look, like that stem has got like no leaves. Whew. Had a bug by me. I don't know, but squash is doing good. Got tons and tons of squash. It's kind of ridiculous, guys, to be honest. Here's my lettuce. And my potato, like the greens of it, are getting so tall that they're falling over. Um, Manny, hope, hopefully she's running after a squirrel. Hopefully I get to harvest soon. They're starting to turn yellow. What I've read that you can start to harvest them when they turn yellow. Um, but yeah, that's it for the garden. Um, so a little fun update on the horses. While we were gone on vacation, um, well, I guess it happened before we were on vacation. Joy had a little, uh, I shouldn't say little, the side of her left face was all swollen. And I kept an eye on it for a day or two, but right before we left. And it was going down. I was like, oh, cool, you know. Um, and then my aunt, while she stayed here, she kept an eye on it. And by a couple of days after that, she said, oh, it's it's gone down. It looks really good. Um, and not to worry about it. I'm like, all right, sweet. Because, you know, my aunt is basically how I got interested in horses and rodeo and all that stuff. Just love her to death. And so I trusted her. I was like, all right, yeah. And she left and then my dad came to uh, house sit. And I think it was, we got home Saturday and maybe Saturday morning, Friday evening. She s swelled up real big. The side of her face swelled up real big again and busted an abscess out of the side of it. Um, if you guys want me to, I mean, I can put a picture of it in here. It's kind of gross and her eye was super swollen. Um, so I had to get a vet out here and I couldn't get a vet out here for a couple days. Oh my God, the smell, the smell was so horrible. It was just like a, uh, like a, something died on her face. It's <laughs> the best way I can describe it. Um, so I did my best on cleaning it until the vet got here. And um, then she got here, we ruled out it wasn't a tooth, which is really good. That was good news, so we didn't have to pull one. Um, but other than that, she's getting pain meds and um, antibiotics. It looks, we're on day six of it. Um, she is really, she really likes to fight us every time we give her medicine. So sometimes if she fights, we'll just put it in her food and she gets to stay in the dry lot until she eats it. Um, just, I'm not dealing with, with that. And neither is Michael. So, and I've had to go down to giving her medicine once a day just because I have the kids and I can't be out here wrestling a thousand pound horse. Um, trying to give her medicine. It's, it's just a, way, a good way to get hurt. And I'm just, I'm not dealing with it. So, 
Anyway. Uh, the scab looks real good. I shouldn't say scab. The wound looks real good. Um, I've been cleaning it with gauze. Keeping antibacterial. Basically like the way you can describe a, a neosporin on it. Um, and giving her medicine, cleaning it every day. And now it's hard and almost getting a, um, like a scab like on it. Um, and I just have to keep, keep, keep her fly mask on and keep the bugs, flies out of it. Um, yeah, it's about the size of a golf ball on her left side of her face. And it's about mid face, mid down her face. And uh, yeah, um, we're trying to take care of her the best we can. You know, horses, they'll be, you know, get horses, they said, they'll be fun, they said. And there they are. Uh, Joy's obviously got the fly mask on, which is actually Reese's, Reese's fly mask. Um, I needed it. I needed Reese's fly mask because it's longer and that way there's plenty of room over to go down Joy's face to go over the wound. So I needed that. They look so shiny and good. My goodness. We need the rain though. Holy smokes. We need some rain again. I don't want to have to pull them off pasture and feed hay. But I wanted to give you guys a somewhat of an update, because um, I haven't done a video. <laughs> and I apologize for that. Maddie, come on, babe. Maddie. <whistles> come on. There she comes. Okay. Um, hi. But I'm going to go inside and cut some more zucchini and squash for the freezer. Hopefully we get some rain today, I doubt it. It's supposed to be cooler today in the low 80s rather than 90s and feel like 100 degrees, so. But I wanted to get on here and give you guys a little bit of an update and um, because it's gonna be longer than a minute uh, video, then I wanted to, um, I couldn't do a short video. <laughs> but I also wanna show you guys my zucchini, how I got that set up. It's so cute. Or my zucchini. My cucumber, excuse me. Look how cute. So I saw this. I'm not sure where. But I love that it's vining on this palette. I saw somebody and then the fruit will just hang through wherever really. And uh, won't be on the ground. Won't get disgusting or disease on it. So we got some flowers. I'm super excited. I love that it's vining on this. I think it's so cool. So one thing I've learned too is that I will do one or two plants of each next year. Probably one. Um, especially for zucchini and squash uh, and not four or five. I have them. I have so many. It's ridiculous. But lesson learned, and I will just do one or two plants of each next year. Maddie, you ready to go in the house? You hot? You ready to go in the house? Me too. You're so pretty. All right, guys, that's all I got for this. And uh, if you guys have any recommendations on what's getting my broccoli leaves, let me know. Um, other than that, I will see you guys hopefully soon on the next one. See you guys.